Well, well, well. Let's have a look around. So, uh, there's a book. Commandment. Knowledge can be a guide or an obstacle depending on how you handle it. Commandment 2. Knowledge is true power when it is needed. Sometimes, though, it is more important to act on intuition. Commandment 3. Too much knowledge can blind the viewer. There is never a moment when this should be forgotten. Yeah. The demon Zahn. Together, the humans and the elves were finally able to defeat the demon queen. The queen's heart was forever sealed into three separate guardian statues. Okay. The lifeline of the land. The life of Filgaia has been sustained by linking the weakened guardians together through a pipeline called the Ray Line. This was a last ditch effort of the weakened guardians to support Filgaia to this day. And they are apparently now biting the dust or something like that. <laughs> there is a book entitled The Guardian of Desire. Guardians, elves, and humans fought together to protect Figaya. Of the guardians, the guardian of desire sided with the demons. Aha! A traitor. The shadow of a black wolf. The guardian of desire disappeared with the demon race. Oh, is that the guy speaking to me? Enigma of elf. The enigmatic elf race, much of the elf magic was truly astonishing. They specialized in magic related to biology. One of their technologies converted life force to energy for transport to other locations. So like teleporting. The Guardian Blades. At the bloodiest point in the war, one elf forged a sword of ultimate power. The sword had the ability to channel the Guardian's power through its blades. There is no record of the sword being used in battle, but it was about that time that the demons withdrew from the war. There's no doubt that the Guardian Blade was a major factor in the war. And there was again the Elf Dimension. Soon after the war with the Demon Rage, the Elves disappeared from Fulgaia. They used what powers they had remaining and moved in the island, still teeming with life to another dimension. The destination is known as the Elf Dimension. So they basically moved on to another dimension because... <sighs> yeah, screw that place, yeah. Screw the, um, humans. Uh, am I able to get these guys down in one go as well? I wonder. Oh, they're making cat noises too. I'm this- what? Oh, no. Oh, shit. What's going on with me here? Disease. Again. Lame. Medicine. So are we? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't change. Is it the medicine that I need to use? Yeah, I need to use the medicine. Ah, kinds of magic. After many failures, the magic guild was able to organize the crest combinations into 32 secret spells. Some continued the research to take the magic even further. The use of magic. It is normally impossible to cast two spells at once. The great mage D devised a method to cast two spells simultaneously. The hidden magic. The basis for the elemental crest magic is the binding of two elements together to generate magic. There are 32 secret elemental spells kept by the magic guild that are more powerful than the normal spells available. Falling from stars. There once was a guardian who chased the tail of a falling star. He came crashing down to Figaya with a falling star. The Guardian of the Starlight, Ligudoblight. Ligudoblight. Does he still sleep next to the fallen star somewhere in Fulgaia? Reach for the heavens. 
Is it because humans do not have wings that they constantly strive to reach the heavens? With signs seemingly limitless, some people reach for the heavens from a massive tower dedicated to magic. God, there's a lot to read in this library. The Tree of Life. After the Great War, a huge magical machine was built to restore the land from the devastation. The machine was named Yggdrasil, after the tree in the legends. Classic. The demons discovered the machine and stole the reviving mechanism. Rather than use the mechanism to give birth to a new land, the demon's leader, Mother, used it to give birth to more demons. I mean, if I was a demon leader, I would do the same, probably. Um, there's a book entitled The King of the Beasts. Since the war with the demons 1000 years ago, many monsters have been born all over. Gaia. Ragu Ragla, the king of the beasts, sleeps somewhere in Fulgaia. A carrots. And a dead end. Well, I'm uh, enjoying that background story here, so we're gonna check out the rest, I guess. I think the magic carry could maybe heal up our MP or restore our MP. Maybe that's what they're for. I just don't want to die now. Madison again. The Emptiness of Sand. The dead area called the Sand River was caused by a battle against the demon race a thousand years ago. The massive destructive powers drained the life from the entire area. Demon Invasion. The demon race has technology that allows them to travel across time and space. They have also developed a device that utilizes this technology to instantly transport troops to a faraway, faraway location. The demon's attacks seem to use this strategy. And the body of the demons. The cold, hard bodies of the demons are made of metal. Their metal bodies, however, have most of the same traits of a biological entity. The ancient mages of the art of alchemy studied captive demons to learn from their technology. That is how we came to create the golems. Oh, I'm to read. Something on the floor here. Ah, what do I do with these again? I'm gonna just leave that here for a second. The Elves. In the realm of the Elves, the power of nature are used as magic. They live on the path of eternity. They have long, hairy cars. Ears, not cars. They don't have cars, they have ears. They have long, hairy ears, but the silhouettes are human. No one knows the reason why they left or where they have gone. <laughs> if, I, if, I had the, if I had the opportunity to leave into my own realm where everyone is cool and the world isn't dying, I would do that. I mean... Definitely. Ancient human weapons. The eight golems were built by humans a thousand years ago to fight off the invasion of the demon race, all but once there remains deep inside the ruins. A real study of these artifacts can only be done when all eight of the golems are excavated. So what I get so far is that we probably have to find eight golems, those three guardians, and then someone who fell from a star or with a star i think who is one of the guardians but i'm pretty sure the like the intro said like the intro looked like there was a golem involved so i'm pretty sure we have to find golems at one point in the game there's a book entitled nature's might so the guardians sometimes use their power for earthquakes and lightning but it is all part of the energy we need to sustain life on Fugaya. Battle magic. Use the different elements to enhance your power against the opponent's elements. Using fire against ice monsters, for example, will increase the effectiveness of your, of your attack. The Forgotten Continent. Uh-huh. The Ring of Grace has forgotten this land. Our continent will eventually end in warm desolation. The Lost Guardians. In the ancient days, Guardians represented basic human nature. There were three Guardians who were in charge of higher energies beyond the four basic energies. These three Guardians were in charge of those who lived their lives according to their energies. 
These were the Courage Guardian, who had the power of growth beyond one's, oneself, the Law of Guardian, who had the power to protect what is precious, and the Hope Guardian, who had the power to believe in the future. In the old days, these three energies existed in everyone's hearts. Now people have forgotten the meaning of these energies. Maybe our uh, three guys here, our main characters, our party members are becoming those guardians. Reincarnated or something like that. The new moon. And the other moon that floats above the night sky shines its dull light down on the surface of Vilgaia. Some say it's the castle of the demons and is made of magic silver. We have no way of knowing now. Ah, uh, yeah. Lots of information here. I like it. I can't really say how relevant it is yet. But I think it's giving you some nice backstory. To the game. I think we um, often overlook areas like that way too much in video games because we just feel like having to rush through them, so... And honestly, in old games, you often don't get that much information about stories because you don't have endless cutscenes that are explaining stuff. So it's nice to get some background information through those books here. And we're now level 2 with Cecilia as well. That's also pretty good. Uh, did I read that now? Hidden powers? Each unassuming tool has a mystic power within it. This power can be brought out of the tool depending on the psychic abilities of the user. Oh, okay. The esoteric guardianism. There exists a secret sect of guardianists who worship the power of the guardians. These extremists believe in the complete return to nature as opposed to the harmonized coexistence with nature taught by Curran Abbey. They left the safety of the common world to develop and instill their beliefs, discreetly. Mm -hmm. The Rings of Time-Space The Rings of Time-Space contain a power that no human should ever possess. The Rings of Time-Space are a seal that holds down the boundaries of time and space. The ring consists of two alignments. Alignment circles. One circle designates northwest, southwest, southeast, and northeast. The other circle designates the west, south, east, and north. Kima? Kima? During the Age of Creation, Momoan had received the secret book from a heavenly messenger. The book contained information about the creation of the universe. It is said that it contains theories of alchemy and the ways of the heavens. A woman like me? There's a book entitled The Arrival. A thousand poem legend prophesies the coming of Angor Moa. The demigod Angor Moa will arrive at a promised time to destroy and recreate all. He is known as the ultimate existence. Okay, that's our boss then. Uh, right, I read these. Right, 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 right. Okay. Well, we uh, know our big boss now. I got something for my head here. Getting my defense up to eight. There is the third book. I need to figure out where to put these books, though. I have no idea. Okay, flame again on that guy. I don't know what they are, though. Flying goats? With a BDSM mask or some sort? They look like they're into some leather stuff. And kinky shit, but otherwise... Gag Gagason. Gag Gagason. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, let's take that book here. Come on, pick it up. Maybe I need to throw it into a fire. I need to throw it into the fire, right? Two more gag boys. I'd like to get roasted now. Apparently Cecilia has either a lot of defense or uh, these guys are not very strong. Ooh. Uh oh, and my MP is empty, so that's not good. Ah, uh, pop, 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 pop. Uh, pop, 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 Um, no. Heal berry. Okay, should be over one hundred. Uh, no, ninety, ninety. Dude is slowing me down. Okay, let me take down the book first. Yeah, she's at least not taking massive amounts of damage. Um, I assume the magic carrot is getting our MP up, so I'm trying that now. Under attack. Ooh! I critted! I take that. Sweet. Um... Let me try the carrots. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so... Um... Book. Gonna burn some books now. It's that M. That's a dead end. Okay. Book number. Oh, yeah, right. Book number three. <sighs> One more gag boy and a book. I mean, technically, I can also hear myself, right? So that's pretty useful. I like it when uh, your party members or your party early on can heal. It's always very, very helpful in RPGs. Book number three, burn, and we open up a new pathway that is leading further down into the library. Let's see. Dile Metallica, a magic seal that prevents it from opening. Okay, the guardians. No one really knows who the guardians are. The only place one can see them is in the legends. Well, mysterious book. Let's touch it and bring havoc over this world so that we can now blame Cecilia, not Rudy anymore. Okay. The book monster, a human who wants to touch the forbidden book. I shall grant your wish and make you a part of my story. You're not the shadow that calls me, are you? I thought I could at least save before a fight. Daughter of the way of magic, become my flesh and blood inside the forbidden book. Ah, shit. I would have rather wanted to get like another level within a... Uh, okay, I need to deal with that now. Brutal attack. Okay, that brutal attack is not very brutal. I'm um happy that 
we purchase the rod and the rope with Jack for her. And that they share the same inventory. It's very, very helpful right now. Um, Mystic. Oh. I'm gonna throw my cape. I don't know what I'm doing here. What happened? Yes, screen has been what? Harry Raid raised. So I used an item I didn't need anymore and my parry rate increased. Interesting, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna heal. Uh, random move. Random move. Uh, Mystic, yeah. Just throw in an item you don't need anymore and see what happens. It might either be a very powerful attack or something that helps you with status effects and stuff like that. Condition green. Another flame for you, sir. I have to admit, um, the brutal attack is really something different than what I expected of it. I wish she, sh she would parry a tiny bit in between. <sighs> oh, that's fine with me. There we go. Have a level up with her and receive 320 gala. The shadow figure from my dream. I'm Stoldark, the guardian of the water. For ages, the demon now. Ghoul, Nal Gaul, Nal Gaul, has locked me in this terrible book. I have waited a long time for the innocent one who would receive the guardian spirit. The innocent one, me? The world is at the turning point of darkness again. Innocent one, can you hear? The anger of the land and the wind, the screams of the sea and the sky. Wear me as you are, my innocent one. I shall protect you in your fight for life. The battle for Filgaia begins again. Everything begins with Lolithia. The water rune. Okay, that's our first rune, I assume. Lolithia, what does that mean? Oh, who's that? Oh, Sister Mary. Now, welcome back, Cecilia. Now you realize the responsibilities of the women in Adelheid family. In the Adelheid family, the female descendants of the Adelheid family share their thoughts with the guardians. They must carry the burden of their destiny with them for the rest of their lives. No one can understand the pain and pressure, pressure which you must endure, but they can help you cope with it and make your life easier. Cecilia, there are those. Uh, I didn't even. Hello? I, like, I cannot read that fast. I didn't even press anything. The burden wants destiny. Brings. Walk proudly from the abbey. You must travel your own path from now on. Okay, bye. Thank you, everyone. Go, you are the innocent one. The guardians have chosen. Well, well, well. Come by any time. We will always be friends. Even if you do become a princess. 
You didn't really speak to me as if we were friends. Known you all my life, Cecilia. When it comes to studying and eating, I have no chance against your hunger for knowledge. And hamburgers. Oh, I could eat a hamburger now. Why is that girl doing that? Mm. <sighs> Alright, um, sweet, sweet, sweet. We now can leave the Abbey. The guardians from the legend have spoken only to her. Without a sound, the wheels of destiny have started to turn. The path she followed in the past was guided by her surroundings. She knew someday she would have to pave her own path to the future. The innocent one who the guardians speak of. It may be too heavy of a burden to be the sorceress of the ultimate power at such a young age. Reminds me a bit of Tales of Symphonia again. I mean, obviously Tales of, of Symphonia was much later. Um, yeah, alright, so we played through the prologues with all three of these guys. I guess I can now choose whoever I would like to choose. Are we gonna choose her and bring her to Adelaide as well? So they are maybe together? Maybe they need to be together, I don't know. Um, but yeah, sweet. Cool. I guess the game can now begin. What is that in the... I don't know what that shall resemble. Whatever that is in the water. Interesting. So yeah, I think the game can now finally begin, maybe with all three party members coming together in just a bit. We had to play through the prologue with all three of them, and I had no idea of them. Oh, I'm not able to hurt them. Shit, I just noticed. Right. Let's throw some flames at them. And yeah, as you see, these guys are pretty strong. How much damage do I do? When attacking them like that, I crit one. 39 when critting, okay. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. Okay, Adelai, the princess is returning. Holy cow, there's been an accident at Alethea's tomb. Let's find Emma, this is out of our hands. No, you're both wrong, the injured are our first concern. So there has been an accident at the tomb and both of those guys are standing here at the parade. Well, I'm gonna go and save. And then, I guess, we are figuring out how to form a party with our two other party members and dive into the adventure.